Continuing on with algebra and getting used to using it as a language and writing things as variables or letters that represent numbers we don't know, let's look at writing more expressions, this time instead of a word problem, about a diagram and using shapes that we know. So write an expression for the length of the rectangle. Well, I know for rectangles, opposite sides are going to be equal in length. And I want to know what the length is. So I'm going to say that I need to know the length so if I look at the other side, I'll notice that I've been given two bits of information. That the side length here is made up of two parts. It's made up of a 4 and an x. So I need to combine those two things together to get the total length. So how would you combine a 4 and an x to get how long it is in total? Here we would say that it's 4 plus the length x will get us the length. So the length of the rectangle is 4 plus x. Looking at another example, write an expression for a in terms of x. Okay, so this is the language in terms of again. That means we want this to say a is equal to blah 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 with x's inside of it. So it could be x plus 5, 2 times x, anything. a is equal to a bunch of stuff with x's in it or an x in it. Similarly, this problem here, the length was written for us in terms of x. So it's the length in terms of x is 4 plus x. So let's figure out what we can do here. I notice that I want to find what a is, but it's a small piece. And I can see that the total length of this rectangle along that side is x. And it should be equal to these bits over here combined together. So the a and the 2. And I'll notice that the a is the small piece x is too much, it's too big to be a. So what would happen if we kind of just draw them over here? So I know that I've got the 2 and the a in those pieces. I'll just transfer them to the other side so we can see how they look. What happens if I take the 2 away? What happens if I were to take 2 away from x? To take 2 out of that length x, I'd be left with a. So how do I write that in an expression? How would I say that I take 2 out of the x? Well, you can think about that like x take away 2. I'm going to subtract 2 out of the x, and whatever's left, once I've taken away that length of 2, will be a. So this is an expression for a in terms of x. a is equal to x minus 2. Looking at a few more examples here. We write an expression for the area this time of the following shapes. And you'll notice I've given you the formulas for area over here. For a rectangle, it's the length times the width. And so looking at this length, this rectangle here, to get the area again, which is how much space is inside of that, is going to be equal to x times y, the length times the width. And again, we can use invisible maths to write this out a little bit simpler. We can just say x, y. Because any time you see x, y, two numbers, or sorry, two variables written next to each other, you can assume there's a little tiny invisible time sign there. But we don't have to write it, so you can write just x times y as x, y. Looking at the next example, the area here, so trying again to figure out how much space that is, we can take 2 times c. And using our magic invisible maths here, we could write that as 2 c, knowing that there'll be the invisible time sign in there, but that we don't have to write it. So 2 times c we can write as 2c, and that will give us the area inside that rectangle. And one more here, looking at the area of a triangle. Know that the area of a triangle, from the formula here, is going to be equal to 1 half times the base, in this case the base is w wide, so we'd say w, times the height, which is 6. So to simplify this expression a little bit, to make it a little bit tidier looking, we can look at those numbers first, the 1 half and the 6. We can actually go ahead and times those together, even though the w is between the two, because these are all time signs, it doesn't matter which order you do them in, we can think about it as 1 half times 6. So what's 1 half of 6? What's 1 half times 6? Well, that's going to be 3. 
and we still see that it's times w. And again, going one step further to simplify it, knowing we can use an invisible time sign, we can write that as simply 3w. So 3w would be equivalent or equal to the area inside of this triangle.